Kitchen in North Westboro, North Carolina, for our Food Note show number 29. It's already 19. It's already 29. Yes, I think it is. Right? Isn't it crazy? Yes. Well, today we're going to have a very special recipe because when our father used to always make this meal, was one of our fathers, you know, he would make that. And he would, if he would say, Hey, boys, we're going to make plinzen, which is, you know, what we're going to make today. That was a, well, that's what it was called in our household, but it's actually a potato pancake. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to show you how we did it at home. So that was one of our favorite meals at home. We just couldn't wait for it to have it again. So uh, today this is a vegetarian dish, and dish, and for for once we don't also use wine or any of that. Uh, it's just it's just potatoes and apples. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make an applesauce like we, like we have. But we're going to do a variation of it. So we need some apples, a little bit of lemon, and some vanilla extract for the apple sauce. Um, and then we're going to have these... Uh, what is this here? I'm going to make a uh, sour cream. I have a one spoon of sour cream and three spoons of Greek yogurt, whole milk yogurt here. And I'm going to make a, a chive and parsley and garlic sauce that we can put on this. And... Um, so I got garlic and all that stuff here. We got to, we got a pound and a half of potatoes. Yes. We're gonna peel those mm -hmm. and grate them. Two onions, two eggs, and about a couple of spoons, the teaspoons. Two, yeah, two, two two tablespoons of of, of of white flour. You know, you could also take potato starch or you know different things. Yeah, exactly. But that works fine. And that's all we need. Yes. And a little cooking oil, of course, salt and pepper. That's it. All right, um, we, 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 gotta, we gotta make the applesauce first. And this time, uh, we're gonna make a variation of the applesauce. You know, we, in, in the other versions, you know, we just uh, peeled the apples and made little bits, bits uh, cooked them. Now, for this, we're gonna take the entire apple, like, um, like I did for the muesli, and I'll take this little grinder, and I grind it straight into the, into the pan. Of course, I've washed these thoroughly, and. Um, Oh, this is great, it works really well. I can just uh, put it right into the pan. And that's nice because I got the peel on it, and the peel tastes good, and it's got lots of nutrition in it, you know? So that's good. To take the, uh, the the inside out, you know, before I let it do the shape. But this way, I can just sort of. Uh, Here. 
and a little bit of water. Let's go by feel. Because it's got to, this has got to cook um, for about 20 minutes. Uh, actually, after a while, you know, I don't want the vanilla to be. I don't know. Maybe it's. Uh, maybe I could put it in now. People also put cinnamon sticks and all kinds of things in there. But for for this recipe, I think just the apples will do just fine. Lisa Brewer brought over some uh, some kitchen herbs, and Jens planted them out here. So we're gonna have some fresh chives here today. Which is beautiful. I can use these chives for my sauce. Yeah, the, the uh, parsley, chive, garlic sauces are such a staple in Switzerland. We eat it with potatoes, with sausages, all sorts of different things. Do you want me to squeeze the rest of the lemon in here? Yeah, just a couple of drops of lemon go in there. Like this? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Perfect. Yeah. I do this in the beginning of the cooking session because it needs to sit for a moment. Salt, sort of herb salt would be wonderful. Okay, the more herbs, the better. Well, tell, me how, tell me how to stop. Where does uh, that I have think. Much, not much. That should be okay. We yeah. can check. You want to put the garlic yeah. on there? Mm -hmm. But I want to use the garlic press instead of Cutting smashing it or anything because I want it fine. Yeah. Some parsley too. Mm, yeah. You sure? Yes, yes, yes. Let's put yeah. that in there too. Of course. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've got some parsley and uh, yes. So this is just basically the the basic recipe and. You can do it with either just yogurt or with quark, or you can even take ricotta. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Just a nice fresh sauce. Mm -hmm. You can just let that sit here. Look at here. The apples come along nicely. Well, the apples. You know, the thing is, onions, apples, potatoes. I, and I love apples, you know, Uwe and we just love apples. I, I, apples, we always have apples in the house. I eat an apple every day, or one, or two, or three, sometimes even four. And we used to live in a place called Mosh, India, right over there? Yep, yeah, in Togao. I have to put a little bit more water. And I turn it on too low. That's enough.
Uh, no, I, I remember lo- I, I, we were out in California with, a bit with the Dunes and we played lo- for the, for the uh, um, anniversary, you know, and I, oh, a star of India. India. And so there was, it was late at night and you were up, you know, asleep and so, and, and everybody was, was going to bed and I just needed to cool off. I was so hot. So uh, they have a swimming pool and I poured myself, you know, a little whiskey, just a small, and I laid into that pool and it's, it's lit up and there's palm trees around and it's, it's, it's heavenly. So I'm laying there and just enjoying cooling off. And I don't know, time just goes by. And all of a sudden, I hear crunk, you know. So Greg comes out on the balcony, he looks down to the pool and says, Hey, Jens. <laughs> yeah, Greg, are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm okay. I'm more than okay. I'm pretty happy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and there were some nice guys down there in San Diego, you know. It was nice. Though. Uh, hey, I think the apples. What do you think? Yeah, I think the apples should be okay. Let's get, let's get going with the, um, with that, with the potatoes. So, you see the apples there, they're getting there. And they're just, now in this stage, sometimes you have to check, you know, so they don't, so, so you're, you're sure they're not burning, you know. Um, that happened to me last time, you know, we made applesauce, and it almost burned. And, you know, some people actually, it actually adds that special flavor <laughs> to, yeah. have, to have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> the potatoes that you use are mostly Yukon Gold, right? It's yes, yeah, yeah, but actually, I, so, I, I can get them here locally and they're good, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and um, while, you, while you peel, I can start grinding them through the, through the grind. Oh, what do you think? Oh, you want, oh, you just, just peel them and then we grind them. Okay. Yeah. We still have a few of these peelers left. And uh, we, we personally, you know, we like them all. But the, the, but the carbon ones are actually... I don't know, it seems like they sharpen themselves, right? When yep, they do. When they rust us the can, and then uh, they never go down. Well, they're all good, you know? Oh, yeah. I, didn't you get one for, for, for Melissa the other, yeah, the other day? Yeah. You know, what was, was that one? There was an exhibition in the, in the Zurich uh, Art School. Yeah. And they had an exhibition about Swiss industrial design. And they made a gold-plated version, a real gold-plated version of this uh, peeler. So I ordered one from Melissa. <laughs> uh, I think it's probably dull, but well, I know I thought it was so cute. You know, when she un- when she unraveled the package, she said, "Wow, earrings! <laughs> <I'm> only one." <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Melissa. You know, Melissa is our secret star. When we go play now, we play a few live, live, we play a few shows, you know, for actual people, and which seemed very different than looking into a square, um, a rectangle thing, and and everybody was like all over Melissa because they had never met her, seen her, but now from the, all the shows they know her, and so they want to know all these things about Melissa, and I will not tell you what. Uh, but she's like a star, and I think she enjoys it. No, you're not? No, you're shaking your head. <laughs> of course you like it. <laughs> Come on, talk to say, hey, Melissa, I watch you all on these shows. That it was, was really nice to meet everybody well, so the far. They're is, great. You don't have an accent, right? Your English is as pure as it gets. It, totally. Uh, because, you know, mm. uh, and so people come here, people call Melissa sometimes just to hear her talk. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Wow. All right. Uh, almost done. Just almost peeling done. the potato and the onion here, and then you can grind them. You, you're going to use the machine today, right, Jens? Yes, I'm going to use the machine, you know, mm-hmm. for, for this. Okay, yes. But we, we don't grate them too finely, right? No. You need to just cut a little bit? No, I, I, no, 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 no. It's okay. not, I, I, I'm not sure, you know, how to grind the what I have, if it really grinds the, the, the onions well. We have to find out. Maybe I take the final one, you know, for the onions. No. Well, that'll be all right. Yes. We'll see. All right. I'm going to pick a little bit. <laughs> Sauce is now is now nice, you know. I mean, you could you could sweeten the applesauce some if you like to, but I 
I usually don't, you know, I like it, I like it kind of tart. I always thought maybe put a little bit of sugar in, but, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of vanilla extract, because that really, it's really nice. it a little bit here with my hands. I'm sorry to do this, but I have this is actually. So, we, you know, it's not like the roasting we did. We don't have to get really rid of everything because we're going to put some flour in here, but uh, of all the water, but I'm just going to put it in this, you know, spaghetti strainer, strainer you know, and sort of just press it a little bit. And that's already enough, really. I mean, we don't need to uh, overdo this. And now I'm gonna hurry up a little bit because I don't want to do it too brown. Chefs, right? They do this, right? They do this. <laughs> All right. You want to put the eggs in here? Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. I'll add a couple of eggs to the uh, potato onion mixture, uh, the flour, uh, some pepper, pepper, lots of pepper, right? Yes. Yes, you, you want to put a little bit of nutmeg in there too? Um, <laughs> we had some funny comments yeah, well, putting nutmeg you know, in the, the thing, The thing is, Potatoes really like salt, so yeah. don't be too careful with the salt. Yeah. Uh huh. A little bit of nutmeg, yeah, sure. Wait a second, uh -huh. I, I, I got this. You want to start with? Sure. Yeah. Mix it, mix it up with this. Mix it up. Yeah, that works fine. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, we used to, when our father used to make this, we we help and we run into the kitchen to help him, you know. And of course, you know, you got to. You gotta make them fresh and eat them, eat them right away. But you can also, it's a nice thing about the, making them in the summer because when you do them in the winter, the whole house is gonna smell like onions and potatoes. But when you do them in the summer, you can see this. Like Jens is just heating up the grill. He's doing them on the griddle outside. And that way we can just grill them, eat them, and, and the house won't smell, which is a, Big plus. 
This looks great, doesn't it? Fantastic. It's wonderful. A lot of people grind the potatoes a little finer, or the finest grinder, or, but this, works. this is perfect. You think yeah. it's okay? Oh yeah, I like it when they're a little rougher like that. It'll it gonna take a, a couple of minutes more to cook, but they're gonna be so much more tasty. And that's done. What do you think? It looks great. You know, usually I would use my hands. Oh, no, no, no. That's it. I think we're good? Yeah, we're good. We're very good. Perfect. Um, you want to sit outside? Yeah, we can move outside. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Well, I'm going to do it on the grill, but of course, you know, I have, I have this little griddle top here. It has, it's two-sided. One has sort of a texture, and this side is just flat. And that works really well. I think there's a spot of something out there. <laughs> so Uwe was worried, you know, that we don't have enough oil maybe for the um, for this, but I think it just it doesn't it doesn't take all that much. Now the the the, the, the pancakes itself, you know, they don't need to be too big. I want to have them. That smells really good. All you have to be careful about is not to run the pan too hot. When you run it too hot, they're going to burn outside, they're going to be still raw inside. Give them enough time so that they can cook thoroughly without, without burning and still get brown. Uh, because that's, that's the whole thing about it. They should be fluffy and, and, and juicy and everything. And, you know, it takes a moment. About maybe four, four, maybe sometimes even five minutes per side. You know, just for them to, to become really nice and crisp, right. you know. Because it's all, all about the crispiness of those things. I think they hold them together very nicely. So I, I'm just going to turn them. See, and if they're not too big, you can really just turn them with your... Ube, perfect. Now we have a, now we have enough time to play a beautiful song. <laughs> you know, Jens, I, I love those audio books that I listen to them every night before I go to sleep. And I, but just, just you're talking about Stephen Fry. Right? Stephen Fry, you know, he's I'm a big fan yeah. of his, and, and he, uh, he get, did this wonderful things about the, the Greek mythology. And I'm just got the last one, the newest one that he come out with, and it just reminded me of the song again that we wrote a few years ago. Remember? Well, you wrote. It. It's, uh, <laughs> little tune called Jason. I want to I want to send this out to North Dakota because you know. Seth really loves this song. Is it Waddington from the Waddington yes, family. There's no rhyme in it, right? No. But there's lots of reasons. <laughs> I don't know if there's reasons. <laughs> it's just I thought, you know, that uh, Jason, instead of stealing that that fleece, maybe he should have just left it where it was and took a picture, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Lies there for me to steal it and to cherish. 
I came to take it for my own through travels dark and dangerous was a noble reason to be born to hunt it or to perish. Destroyed our all defenses now, the price so near and glorious. I rest and by my head in peace and I pray to reverence. My eyes wide open but my heart it yearns for love and truth and faith. To tear apart and steal away seems foolish now at last. for Melissa right now. So I'm going to put a potato pancake on here. Put, put a little bit of this. Want to try the sauce quickly, Enzo? No, 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 no. I'm just going to put some here mm -hmm. so she can try it. I'm going to put some of the apple sauce on this side mm -hmm. so you, she can try it. How's this look? It looks okay. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. There's something like empty here, but it's but it works. It smells really good. Okay, so what is this called again? Kartoffel puffer. Potato pancake. Potato pancake. Mm hmm And it's a typical... Means you got things cooked just right. You know, another thing that people have said is, I've been meeting you, that anytime I don't want to try something, that you would love to come take my place. But I'm not quite ready to give it up. So, <laughs> just kind of said, we just dip it in the sauce? Or? Yeah. Yeah, just mm. you know, put some on it. Mm. You know what? That's better than a baked potato. Mm. Well, that's saying a lot, Melissa. Well, that's saying a lot for a southern girl like me. Mm. And the applesauce? That goes together perfectly, right? Mm. Very good. And Yens, I like the applesauce with the peelings. Well, it's a little more, it's, it's a little more, more tart, isn't it? It is, and that's what I like. Yeah, it's... it's... Very good. And you absolutely have to add the nut, nutmeg to the potatoes. Mm -hmm. That is one of the best tips that I have picked up from working with you guys on this show, is nutmeg and potatoes. Mm -hmm. Try it. How do we say in Swiss German? And good to meet the nut. We're going to eat I want, I want one too, yes. Yes, yes. But Uwe has a special uh, oh, yeah. secret ingredient. Uwe, Uwe bought some... Uwe, Uwe, Uwe bought some herring. And it's... <laughs> And Melissa said, you know, she smelled it before. She said, it smells like somebody had eaten it before. <laughs> well, you know... But you don't like this, right? No. The, the old Vikings had this stuff, and it was probably the reason why they ventured out into the whole world and looked for better food. No. <laughs> this is one of my favorite foods in the world. You know? Absolutely. All right. Very good. Come on, guys. Oh. 
Oh. Um, <laughs> one of my dad's favorite recipe, if not his absolute favorite recipe. And ours too. Oh, absolutely. But yeah. we hardly ever get to make it. Yes. Um, I would not go to the doctor now and make a cholesterol. Uve, don't say that. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't think about that. <laughs> no, we don't. No, no, no. no. We, we enjoy these potato bread. And, yet, and yet the grill is absolutely perfect idea to do this with a griddle instead of a, a frying pan. Yeah. It's much, much better for the, for actually for the fat and, uh, and everything. It's works quick fantastic. and wonderful. Yes, well, I hope you enjoyed this little dish and mm -hmm. uh, 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 send us some picture if you make it. I mean, because we think this is a delicious one. Mm -hmm. You all take care.